Breaking news on Ravens rundown. Cornerback Marlon Humphrey is out indefinitely and will have foot surgery. Welcome in Tyler Jones to catch you up to speed on the latest with Marlon Humphrey and where the Ravens go from here. Let's tell you four things you need to know about the injury situation. The foot injury has been a lingering issue for Marlon Humphrey for several weeks, according to Ravens head coach John Harbaugh. Harbaugh went on to say that he does not expect this to be a long-term deal, that he should get past this pretty quickly, that it's not going to be something that uh, lingers on uh, for a, uh extended period of time. He's expected to miss about a month uh, after this surgery, and so that means that not only is he out for the rest of the preseason, but likely to miss the first two regular season games as well when the Ravens open up the season with the Houston Texans, followed by the Cincinnati Bengals the week after that. So all that to say, folks, when you look at this injury and on top of all the other injuries the Ravens have been dealt at the cornerback position, there's no sugarcoating this. This is terrible news for the Baltimore Ravens to be without Marlon Humphrey and at a position that's been depleted so much. I know over the last couple of years, no one in the National Football League has had worse luck with injuries than the Baltimore Ravens have. And for this team, you could handle some injuries at different positions. You have depth that you could deal with accordingly. But this is the worst circumstance you could think of, of being down four or five guys now with this cornerback position. This is... DEFCON 5 at this point. Panic mode should be in full force at this point. Not only an impact player like Marlon Humphrey, who we're talking about, has been to multiple Pro Bowls and is one of the top players at his position, but just the fact that the lack of depth right now, this is a concern. Marlon Humphrey's coming off a season where he had 71 tackles, three tackles for loss, three interceptions and ta seven pass breakups. He played in all 17 games last year. Marlon Humphrey was phenomenal. And you can't just expect somebody to step up and replace that production uh, to have that type of impact immediately with this team. This is a big problem. This is a guy that's been to three Pro Bowls. He's been a first-team All-Pro selection. And it's not even just the interceptions with Marlon Humphrey. He is a gamer. This guy led the league in forced fumbles back in 2020. So to say that it's panic mode uh, would be an understatement. This is not good. Marlon Humphrey will be back, but... Adding to the list of injuries that's gone on with this group, this is not good news at all. So, what is your one-word reaction to the injury to Marlon Humphrey? Missing a month here. On top of all the other injuries that have gone on, we're going to show you the injury list in just a moment. But first, your chance to chime in. Tell us what your one-word reaction is. My one-word reaction would be <laughs> panic, right? It's it's full-on panic mode at this point. Give me your one-word reaction to the injury news to Marlon Humphrey in the comment section below. Folks, this is why you subscribe to Ravens Rundown as we got this injury news and we got our resources together to bring you a video as quickly as we can here on the channel. We're bringing you daily Ravens news and rumors. We also are doing some watch parties, uh, more so than we did last year, including the upcoming Monday night game against the Washington Commanders. And we'll do some live shows from time to time as well. So if you love the Baltimore Ravens, this is the channel for you. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is talking about the Baltimore Ravens like we are here at Ravens Rundown. Subscribe now, and the best part about it, it doesn't cost you a thing. Absolutely 100% positively free is your subscription to Ravens Rundown. Subscribe now, turn on notifications so you can stay up to date and know right away what's happening with your Baltimore Ravens. We got you covered here on the channel. Subscribe now. You'll be glad you did. Here is the list of injuries at the cornerback position for Baltimore right now. Brock Yassin, who they signed from the Las Vegas Raiders, who I was very excited they brought in, expected to be that number two corner, uh, dealing with a leg injury. He is week to week, uh, but expected to be back for when the season begins, and they'll certainly need him with no Marlon Humphrey out there. Meanwhile, Arthur Mollett, who the Ravens signed from the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's got a hamstring injury. He's kind of day-to-day at this point in time. Meanwhile, Jalen Armour Davis with an undisclosed injury. He is day-to-day -day at this point. 
Uh, Demarion Williams, with the ankle injury he suffered, he is out until October. And then Trayvon Mullen, uh, he is out for the entire season. Unfortunate news uh, for the cousin of Lamar Jackson. So you can see now, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, six different corners are all down right now for this Ravens team. So now the next question becomes, where do you go from here? This is a disaster, okay? We're, we're, we're being real with y'all. That's what we do here on Ravens Rundown. We keep it real. If I'm Eric DaCosta, what I do today, not tomorrow, not tonight, today, I pick up that phone and I call Bryce Callahan right now and I say, look, Bryce, you're the best free agent corner on the market right now. We need you badly. Come on aboard. You're going to get playing time. You're going to make this roster. We need some help. Come on, Bryce Callahan. Come to Baltimore and help us out because we desperately need it right now. Bryce Callahan went undrafted in 2015 out of Rice. A lot of experience for Callahan in his NFL career, playing for the Chargers, the Broncos, the Bears. And we're looking at a guy that's played in 81 games in his career with 56 starts. So, uh, stepping up in this position wouldn't be something he's unfamiliar with, uh, with all the experience he brings to the table. These statistics for Bryce Callahan, I'm surprised he's still sitting in free agency right now because he's coming off a solid season in 2022 where he had 47 tackles, two tackles for loss, three interceptions, and six pass breakups. Not bad numbers at all for what he did uh, last season. Back in 2019, he was out that entire season with a foot injury, so you hope that he doesn't add to the bad juju of the injury element the Ravens have been dealing with. But nonetheless, track record's good. This is about as good as you're going to get at this point uh, if you're the Ravens. I go after Bryce Callahan. I sign him today, bring him in, and sure up that corner room. What do you think? Should the Ravens sign Bryce Callahan? That's the guy I got my eyes on. What about you guys? Flock, tell me in the comments section. Why for yes, in for no. If the Ravens should sign Bryce Callahan or not, weigh in. Tell us what you think in the comments section. Folks, when you see the Ravens play the Commanders on Monday night and throughout the NFL season, you're going to see them wear these sideline hats, Uh, whether it's players, coaches, personnel, staff, whatever it may be. These same sideline hats are on sale now, uh, and you can get yours today, whether it's the flat bill version, maybe you like the baseball cap style, whatever it may be. We have these uh, demonstrations, examples that you're seeing on your screen right now, but we also have others available at chatsports.com slash Ravens hats. So what are you waiting for? You can get yours now, and on top of that, folks, you can get these before the season begins as well. So stop whatever you're doing. Go ahead and go to chatsports.com slash Ravens hats and get yours today. That way you can be rocking with your flock out and looking great supporting your favorite team at the same time. Chatsports.com slash Ravens hats to get yours today. One final note uh, before we wrap up here. I think you can beat the Texans without Marlon Humphrey. Uh, shout out to Jeremy Chubbs. Just being honest here. You, know, you don't need uh, the uh, Marlon Humphrey to beat the Houston Texans. At least I would hope not. Okay? Uh, but then you get to week two, and think about this, folks. It's not just Jamar Chase you're facing, but it's Joe Burrow, T. Higgins, all those guys. That's a nightmare situation to be as shorthanded you, as you are in the corner room and then to not have your top corner as well at Marlon Humphrey in a divisional game and all that, that has me very concerned for week two. Week one, you should be able to get by. But week two, ugh, I'm not looking forward to week two right now. I can tell you that much. Roquan Smith uh, asked about where this team goes from here without Marlon Humphrey. Next man up mentality. I know he'll get back as soon as he can, and we'll try to pick up the slack when he's not out there. Well, Roquan, that's easier said than done. You're not playing corner, but... I at least like the enthusiasm, uh, the optimism from Roquan Smith there. What is your concern level with the Ravens cornerback injuries right now? Not just Marlon, but the others as well. Scale it for me in the comments section, 1 through 10, where your concern level is. 10 being uh, panic mode, 1 being, ah, they'll figure it out. What is it? Let me know in the comments section, 1 through 10. Hit me up on social media as well, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Uh, threads as well at Tyler Jones Live. You can find me there. I'll see you next time right here on Ravens Rundown. 